Let's talk about hitting on women, my favorite yeah. activity and topic. Um, women want to be hit on if they like the guy hitting on them. Yes. But we don't have any day of if we're that guy yet. Yes. And we don't know if you're that guy yet. I think one of the the best tips I can give men is to de-romanticize that interaction, right? Like if a guy mm. comes up to me and he's like, hey, I think you're really attractive and I saw you, then I'm like, oh God, this is so much pressure. Do I even, am I attracted to this person? There's like all of this kind of heat <laughs> in, in, and they just, because of the society that we live in, all I want to do is actually like move away from you because I don't know if you're safe. I don't know what's going on. Whereas like when a guy just comes up to me and has a normal conversation with me as if I was a guy, like, oh, I like your shoes. Where'd you get them? Or, oh, cool. What are you reading? Like, that looks really interesting. Or like, do you see the lineup here? Like, this is so crazy. This coffee shop really, like whatever. Then suddenly I feel like we can just have an interaction and I don't have to figure out if I like you yet. And and it's, yeah, there, there's something actually like so cool about that i have a gym question for you guys so we have a clip from our podcast that's kind of going viral i want to get your take liz you specifically so i was working out this was like a month or two ago and uh after i was like halfway through my workout a woman i heard this i love this story okay so oh, a woman yeah. started working out uh you know a few feet away but she was in my existing sight line like i was already <laughs> like looking in that direction and now she was there <laughs> And I was like, well, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, to your point, I don't want to be a creep, but I was already, I, so I'm now I'm working, I'm looking at the sky, <laughs> I'm doing, I'm not bumping into stuff, falling over myself not to look at this woman. And, uh, you know, what, what should I have done in that situation? No, and I, I love that the part where after you're like, and then I do this workout and I have to look at my phone oh, and then it looked like I was like filming yes. her and then I had to move away and like face the wall. Um, I thought that was a really funny uh, moment. I also love because women have all these neurotic uh, constant monologues in our in our heads and I, it felt actually really nice to hear that men also <laughs> like are thinking through all kinds of different scenarios in their, um, you know, even when they're not even in a relationship with a woman, uh, but when they're within their vicinity. I think Okay, so I tend to think because of the crisis in lone loneliness right now that obviously impacts men desperately um, but is affecting everybody, right? Like everyone has less friends, women too. Everyone is having less sex. Everyone is less likely to, you know, gather in these third places. We have less of these third places. And so I am super pro like men hitting on women. Like I just really, really? if it's- You're pro that? I am, I've become much more pro it. And I think that I also am a proponent of anyone talking to anybody. My biggest tip for people is to give a compliment to a person regardless of their gender every single day. Mm -hmm. Like every single day, just tell someone something uh, that you like t tell a stranger something and then it'll just make you more comfortable when it is the moment where like oh this person's like attractive and it kind of like really like now I'm feeling a little nervous you'll feel much more comfortable doing it but the gym is a, a situation where there's you know you're not wearing a lot of clothes uh you're sweaty you're maybe like feeling vulnerable <laughs> so I think like eye contact first mm. and then get the vibe right like if they're just kind of trying to end the conversation you know, then end the conversation. Uh, if they're asking you more questions and, you know, then then mm. keep, you know, and again, approach it like you would if it wasn't romantic, mm. you know? I do think the gym is a tricky one because it's, at least when I go to the gym, it's like, don't, there is this dude at the gym who talks to everyone and I'm like, bro, don't nobody want to be having these conversations right now. Right. Like, we trying to focus. <laughs> like, well, don't be that guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But I'm not saying you're that guy, but I'm like, yeah. it, I think the gym is tricky because some people are really in there like, this is my time. This yeah. is my mm -hmm. box of, of, of me-ness. Yeah. But, but the eye contact one is a good, it's a good yeah. tip. Yeah. Yeah.